The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. We've got the uh, equity futures, U.S. equity futures trading lower. The Dow's down 55. The Nasdaq's up 132. The S&P down 23. The E-mini rustles off about four points out there. And the question that we're really trying to answer, and maybe we'll have an answer come the end of the day, is is there a consolidation breakout or not? If we take a look at this set of charts out here, again, our four equity future contracts set to the daily time frame they each clearly have a consolidation pattern now in the case of the es mini upper right hand panel and the dow equity future contract lower left hand panel both of them have broken out above their consolidations and what we've seen this week here is a breakout of those levels and price coming back and testing and rejecting the top of those consolidations so the measure the, the message that they are delivering to you and i at 901 in the morning is that they are, it's a real breakout, and that price should target their measured move. That is the equal to the consolidation. It's equal to or greater than. So it's about 48.16 inside the ES. It's about 37.399 inside the Dow. Now, that's the bigger picture, the longer-term picture. The NQ yesterday poked its head above the consolidation level. Don't know where it will end today, but if we gets above that consolidation. Above that consolidation, I'd say it would be a close about uh, 15,701, give or take out there. Then it would join the ES and the uh, Dow, and uh, probably the Russell 2000 would have no choice but to at least go test the top of its consolidation pattern and also perhaps a, a breakout. Now, before that takes place out there, what really should take place is we should see price pull back or move sideways and wait for tests and rejections of the oscillator and change line. Those are the green, red, squiggly lines you see on your screen right now. And in the ES Mini, that's at 45.27. In the NQ, it's at 15.414. Inside the Dow, it's at the 35.386 level. Boy, if we get that, it doesn't have to happen today. But if we get the test and rejection of those areas, we combine that with these consolidation moves. We're in the favorable seasonal cycle. Well, it looks like uh, things will be very rosy going into Christmas. We may not be able to get Christmas gifts. This will just simply have to be our holiday season gift. Folks, stay tuned. Next hour, you got uh, Tommy O'Brien. Great programming throughout today. Have a fantastic weekend. A fantastic Friday. I'll see you again on Monday at 1 p.m. Sure. Take care, folks.